Let's get rid of you. Oh. Oh, it can hit us through the ground. Okay. <laughs> every enemy, every boss, and every item is random, and the goal is to ring at least one bell of awakening before the 60 minute timer is up. At 10 minutes remaining, we get Stray Demon as a backup win condition if both bells are a bust. Now that we're up to speed on the rules, let's jump into the run. Alright, so I guess we're going to start off with Dark Hand again, uh, and then just keep an eye out for another item all along the way. We'll start the timer and get moving. Alright. At least Dark Hand's like fairly strong. The only annoying thing is that it can't be upgraded. Okay, so we got Gwendolyn here. Or not Gwendolyn, I keep saying that. Uh, Priscilla. To, the only issue with fighting her outside of her normal arena is when she goes invisible, you don't have footsteps to track her. And her attacks trigger uh, blood loss pretty quick. The, the trick is to kind of just stay on her right off the bat. Okay, we got a gargoyle. That'll be easy enough. All right, so we just got to make it by the rat here. Hopefully we don't get poisoned. Yep, let's keep moving. Because without armor, those things poison us in one hit. All right, let's do this so we can get our Estus and the, the key to actually get out of here. Okay, I had a feeling it was the little mushroom. Ooh, okay. Ooh, gargoyle's down. I'm kind of stoked to have the gargoyle, though. The last, like, five... At least the last five runs have been the Capra Demon. All right, let's get rid of you. Oh! Oh, it can hit us through the ground. Okay. <laughs> so the strat might be to just run by the enemies here and get the uh, fight started right away. Bro, okay, so maybe be slightly less aggressive there. So now we can actually go fight. Main thing, I just don't want to get sniped by... Ooh, this is not good. Okay, there. So I was hoping we would get out of here slightly quicker than the Capra Demon runs. Because we usually... The strat I've had to kill him with the last couple times took some time, but ends up being around the same. So could be better, could be worse. Um, but now we're going to head to Firelink to... Keep an eye out for humanity, souls, and ideally a new weapon too. At least one that can be like upgraded and or one that has better range. Because that is another drawback of the Dark Hand. Thankfully, there's quite a bit of... Or there's quite a few item checks here in Firelink. Okay, soul. A humanity. So not bad. Not a bad start. Okay, so another big soul. It's looking like, unless we find like 10 humanity, our first move is going to be Andre like usual. Okay, so we did find some souls, which I'm stoked on, um, but we still did not find nearly enough to where I'd be comfortable going to uh, Blighttown first. So we are going to head to Andre. I really want a new weapon, just because... Dark Hand is good to start off with, but because it doesn't scale, there's a lot of bosses we can run into here that just we won't do any real damage to. Okay, so we're getting a ton of souls. We just got Soul of uh, Artorius. Uh, as long as he isn't blocked, we can check Rickert here. Uh, and he has nothing, which is what we were expecting, but... I was hoping he had at least one thing, but he only ever carries like three items, so the chances of him having something good is usually pretty low. Um, okay, so we have Ornstein up here. Oh, he's broken. Cool. I will say he his attacks are for sure dodgeable. Just with us being, I think I put one 
point into health so far. There's a lot of his attacks that would just send us right to Firelink. But there was not anything really useful there. Okay. Whew. Was worried about that. There's one item in a cave right there, but I'm not going to worry about it just because those things are so annoying to get by. So we'll just go up here, grab the fire, or the bonfire, and keep moving. Even with the couple deaths in the asylum, we're still making decent time. Ooh, okay, cool. At least it didn't kill us. But that is not something I'm going to fight. I'm going to go ahead and heal back up, though, because there are two more enemies I'm going to need to get by. Demon Titanite. Okay, one more, and then we are safely at Andre. Oh, another Chandler. Cool. Even more Demon Titanite. Okay, so we are at Andre. What do you have? Lots of souls. Cool. Some humanity. Any weapons? Any usable weapons? Does not look like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and use just one soul so we can buy the rest of the souls that he has. And then we can run up to the bonfire and level up. So we have a decent amount of humanity, I think. So I'm debating on if I want to either just run straight to Blight Town because four humanity is fine for some Blight Town attempts. But I'm also debating on if I want to try Undead Merchant. Oh, six Homeward Bones. Those will be uh, handy. Okay, so we'll go down here, at least unlock the Firelink shortcut. I think maybe at least I want to do the checks on the way to Undead Merchant. And then I think depending on how up here looks, I'll try a quick uh, um, gauge at least. Okay, so still not much. We got more souls. Dang, there's a lot of these guys this run. Crystal Straight Sword. That is pretty usable. It actually does solid damage. The only downside is low durability. But this is a short enough run to where isn't really an issue. Ah, damn it. Okay. So I think we can actually go ahead and try Blight Town now. I'm pretty comfortable with the Crystal Sword. And just so I can double check, so I can put some points into it, it scales, okay, kind of with both strength and uh, dex. Okay, I have more souls I can use, but this can at least get us down there pretty easily. So yeah, we have four humanity, which as long as nothing goes horribly wrong, is four boss attempts with Mildred. Okay, so there's a couple enemies up here. Hopefully it's nothing too annoying. Would be tight. And of course, going with the theme of the run, we have more of the stone warrior guys. Okay, so we have one of the annoying DLC dogs. Not the worst to get by, but not great. Oh, and then a Dark Wraith, which also not terrible. Let's quit out again, so we can safely unlock this bonfire. And we got one of the DLC mini bosses up there, which is probably going to aggro when I try to trigger uh, Millicent here. Not Millicent, Mildred. So I'm going to have to run straight back, because that thing is for sure going to follow us all the way up here. I feel like the Dark Wraith is probably going to fit in here. I know, thankfully, the big guy can't. Come on, let Mildred through. Cool. I was like, don't get killed by Mildred. Don't let that happen.
Okay, so let's quit out so we can reset that guy, because he is for sure just going to stand there the whole time. But we thankfully got her, so we can go down, kindle the bonfire since she gives us a humanity, and then level up once or twice, and then probably check what, like, a little armor I could wear. Okay, yep, let's get moving. Okay, I know the mini boss is close up. But if possible, I only want to have to do one quit out. Which actually we don't even need to do. Cool. Oh, actually, yes. I, I think that was one of the, like, bone wheel skeletons. Little bummed that we don't have, like, a purple moss or divine blessing to get rid of the poison, but could be worse. It's just one little thing I'll have to be aware of during the boss fight. Okay, let's use an Estus and now go check what Blighttown boss we have. So far, can't tell. Uh, is that Ornstein? It is normal Ornstein. I'll go ahead and heal a fool. I uh, forgot. That had a ranged component, but this will be easy. I just need to not be dumb. So yeah, we're super good here. Easy first attempt. And giant blacksmith hammer. Let's go. There's our new weapon. It's been a second since we've got this. Okay, let's ring this. Uh, I'm not going to do the Quailana, uh item checks. So let's go ahead and use this. Um, we'll go back to the bonfire, level up a couple times, and then we can head straight, uh, straight back up to the bell tower. Okay, yeah, we're pretty good here, so let's just get moving right away. I'm so stoked we got the uh, blacksmith hammer. Big enemy up here, sounds like. Very big enemy. Okay, and it looks like whatever enemy here probably fell off. Okay, so I just need to be careful here. Okay, cool. I heard some kind of footsteps, so something's still chasing me. But it doesn't matter now. Okay, and I still have some souls. I feel like I can level up one more time. Okay, yeah. So let's use this. So it looks like we have, including this, five attempts to make it to the Bell Tower bosses with Solaire. So yeah, let's go up here. I didn't really get a chance to peek at the, the enemies, so fingers crossed uh, it's not too bad. Okay, so first enemy here isn't ideal. But we do solid enough damage. Ooh. Okay, let's quit out. Because I did see something was climbing up the ladders after us. So we're going to summon back, or spawn back in, summon Solaire, and then we'll actually get to see what bosses we have here. All right, I'm going to stay close against the wall here just so I don't trigger anything's aggro. All right, so Solaire's all good. Let's pop in. And we have Capra Demon as second gargoyle. And hopefully not uh, the boss that was up on the side there. Sif. Okay, let's heal back up. Sif is doable. Oh, looks like getting knocked off is a possibility. So we want to be careful there. Okay, so they can kind of hurt each other. I think that's sort of what I... Oh, okay. So Sif just went ahead and killed Capra Demon for us. So let's just be careful with positioning here. Because we 100% have this fight. Cool. 
cool. Okay, let's keep moving. So let's run up, ring the bell. So we have both bells. Um, we're going to run this, or ring this really quick. All right, and I am not going to even bother running down and checking the merchant because we have everything we need to take on Priscilla. Homeward Bone, heal back up, and head to the Asylum. Oh, I guess that actually healed us. I'm not going to use the bonfire here because since uh, Lotrix out, uh, the fire keeper's just dead. So yep, we'll just go up here, trigger this, which is going to take a second, and then head to the Asylum for the last boss of the run. Fuck. Okay, let's quit out. Woo. That was super close. That was such unlucky positioning with me jumping down and it getting that backstab right off the bat. Okay, so I'm going to use this bonfire. Let's actually go ahead and kindle it just so we can get the tin flasks if we get unlucky with Priscilla. Yeah, let's uh, go in here. Kill you. I don't think, for some reason, my roll was not triggering there. Crap, I lost her. Yep, that was, that was exactly what I was talking about being worried about. I got one attack, but it normally takes like two or three solid ones to to knock her out of the invisibility. Okay, so we got him. Nice and easy. Okay. Thankfully, she's slow. All right, so I'm going to try and roll a... Okay. Okay, we got her. She can re-stealth. So I want to keep aware of where she is. Come on, just a couple more hits. Oh, I got her tail. And that's it. So time. So very close to the best time we've ever gotten, uh, which I think was just under 18 minutes. And we're finishing this one with just under 17. So our second best run ever, which I was a little unsure of since uh, when we start off with Dark Hand, it's always a little tricky because it's very based on what we're able to find. But yeah, so perfect run with our second best time ever. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to toss it a like and subscribe to the channel because these videos are going to be coming out weekly. And until then, I will see you in the next one.